Let's go on a shooting spree. Nah. Oh feck, I forgot. Ooh. Ooh. Not even a comment from Bosco this time. See ya, Bosco. I'll do my shooting spray outside. I'm gonna shoot everything. I won't shoot the people, I know. That doesn't work. What if I shoot the thing underneath them? I guess I can't. Okay, what else can I shoot? I can shoot this thing. I guess not. Oh, is there anything down there? Oh, there's a dumpster. Oh, damn it. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. What else can I shoot? Shoot the office door. No. I can shoot the car. I can shoot lefties. Oh, one way sign. Oh, wait. Because I just caused an accident. Whatever. I don't know what else I can do. There has to be something in the driving section. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! I shoot stuff? What about this guy? Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Wait, what? Did I actually hit something? Sam 1, tail light 0. Oh, hey! I could do this all I day. I can actually shoot their tail lights. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Is that it? Sam 1, tail light 0. Does have any relevance? Can I pull him over? Oh my god, I can! This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die! Hello, we're freelance police. And you are not! Ergo, we call the shots around How here. How did I miss oh, this? Why did you stop me? Uh, broken tail light. Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? Oh, I'm a genius. What? Are you crazy? Uh, okay, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. All right, my attorney advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting. <laughs> Thanks, sucker. <laughs> Oh, I'm the best. Can I do it to somebody else? Alright, here comes a guy. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... I hereby sentence you to life in prison. <laughs> For a broken taillight? Report to the nearest correctional facility at your earliest convenience. Take him away. Aww. I wish that I wanted to get 20 pounds. I'm assuming that's all this driving section is for. I'm gonna do a ramp. You ready? It's gonna be amazing. I'm waiting for it. Every time I want to ramp, it never comes. Oh, here we go, I think. No, I was wrong. Where the feck are them? There it is. 
I'm gonna do it like this. Whoa! Beautiful. Alright. So now I can go buy... What was it? There was something in here that was $10,000. Oh my god, just run. Where did fucking Max go? Oh well. Alright, please. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey. Okay, this hey, time, Bosco. I get what to do buy you a want? stupid thing. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? Wait. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Wait, this? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Okay. About the Munchkin terrorism. What about it? I think we got it. Okay. Anything else? Where'd the thing go? We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? I still want that cheese. Like I said, just bring it to the counter. How do I... Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Don't take any nickels, wooden or otherwise. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Uh. Hot weenies. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? What's behind the counter? What the fuck? Nothing for us right now. Okay. Do I have it? Oh, maybe I can just give him the money. I'm not feeling that generous. Then what I'm not do feeling I, that generous. Then what do I do? That's taking the no littering policy too far. I give up. Nothing for us right now. Okay. I've been at this for so long. Thanks, Bosco. Watch my back. I've just gone back in and out, and he still doesn't have the stupid tear gas. Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. What do I do with this cheese? Is there anything I can do with it? Can I put it in the bathroom? Nah. Can I put it in the Why freezer? Would I freeze can I feckin'. Nope. Ha Maybe I need to store it. Uh -uh. No thanks. Oh my god. No dice. Hey! That's my box! Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. Oh. Maybe if I distract him. Can I do this? Is this actually no, what I'm fun. supposed to do? Uh oh. Time out for number one! So wait. What the hell is this gonna do? He's just gonna find cheese and be like. <laughs> if you really love someone, give them the gift of really? cheese. Really? Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. This makes no sense. What the? Oh. Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean... Wait, uh, my oh. evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! Uh, it's still not quite right. Uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Can I, can I buy your stuff now? Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? 
Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. Please tell me you I can want buy to buy it, something. Yeah. What do you got your eye on? I cut. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Let's, Thanks, let's Bosco. Can't buy it. Do me proud. Let's can't buy it. All right, team. Me, I'm winning this game. I don't want to wake him up. Am I still humming this? Hmm. Yep. I guess so. I guess that's a loss. Is there anything in that dumpster? Can I shoot it? No. Hang on. Here we go. Nope. Nope, nothing down there. What's in lefties? Is there anything at lefties? Oh, that looks like an item. Oh, fuck it's it is. It's a shame how many shops around here have shut down. How hey, am I missing all this stuff? Paint, and it's not even empty. Why am I so observant this episode? I'm a genius. I'm gonna finish the game in this one episode. Apart from the fact that I can't buy the stupid... I hope that isn't a glitch and I'm not gonna be able to win it. I'm assuming I have to do something to this guy with the spray paint. Could I spray him? I mean, if you sprayed this in your mouth, he'd probably... Caffeine rush! He always sees us coming. You made me mess up! I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. What if I spray paint the other one? Will he notice it? Whee! This could use a little improvement. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've got to fix it, Brain Freeze. So what now? This could use a little improvement. What are you doing? Don't mess with my painting. Now I've got to fix it all up. How do I do this? Is there something that... Am I missing something here? Or maybe when this one, maybe when he's over here, he can't run away because there's a thing in the way. No can do. Oh wait, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I, know. I think he missed a spot here. Excuse me. I thought I said not to mess with my painting. All right. Okay. Okay. I know what to do. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. Oh, well, we he just like broke his skull. <laughs> and now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My <laughs> evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Eh, better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, is there anything else I can pick up in this room? 
On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage though, things were quite a bit dirtier. <laughs> Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, you made me mess up, made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Do I get to watch all of those? Because I'm not. <laughs> I don't need any more cheese. You're telling me. Well, can I examine their corpses? Cause what they are. Well, this guy's definitely dead. He'll be out for a good while. Please tell me I can buy the thing now. Please! Hello! I don't want to wake him up. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? Oh, come on. Am I missing something? Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. What's wrong? Nothing for What's us this right game? Now. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Not to... I don't know what it could be that I'm doing wrong. I have the money. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Do I have to? Boy, the security system no. in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. Do I have to? I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Do I have to watch all of those Whee! things? I, I don't know what it could be that I'm doing wrong. Because I should just... I should just have it. This is so annoying. I'll watch them all. Could oh, ever yeah. forget is, Wizard and his hilarious right. bathroom breaks. His time out for number one adorned lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. Behind the scenes, though, Wizard's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Wizard the only existing copy of the script. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Oh, that Wizard! He just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. Four years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Coming up next, the soda popper known for a really big part of his anatomy. <sighs> I'm gonna watch these. 
Audiences all over the world fell in love with Peepers and his cute big eyes. On the set, though, Peepers was not quite so beloved. While his high-pitched voice was a hit with audiences, it reportedly drove a number of his co-workers to alcoholism. <laughs> Eventually, the show's director stopped bringing Peepers back in to loop missing dialogue, getting the needed lines simply by scraping his fingernails over a chalkboard. I never noticed the difference. Even after the show left the airwaves, Peepers' I Can See You warmed the hearts of all who heard it. All that is, except apparently the students of Our Lady of Butter Toast Girls School. Peepers' tenure as the gym teacher for the prestigious Catholic school came to an abrupt end when his familiar catchphrase was taken the wrong way in the girls' locker room. And coming up next, the child star well, who never was. There's another one. Few, if any, remember the show that the soda poppers replaced. Culture's Clubhouse, hailed as television for the sophisticated six to eight year old, fell victim to the soda popper juggernaut and was quickly scrapped. Its young star, Brady Culture, struggled to find work and acceptance in the wake of the show's cancellation. Unable to find another role, Brady dabbled in every religion, creed, and belief system he could find. Buddhism, Judaism, pointillism, Scientology, horse mythology, nerf mythology, prismatology, and even stink mythology. But what ultimately became of Brady Culture? No one knows. Brady Culture's being lifted from obscurity by his former rivals? I think this qualifies as a baffling mystery, Sam. You may be right. Coming up next, we'll repeat everything you've just heard. All right, so it's not gonna... It'll be the same thing. Okay. I'll do this next episode. Because <laughs> I feel like this one might have dragged on a bit. It's the most action-packed episode there's been so far. I'll give you that much. I'll shoot something on it. There you go, I did it. You happy? I wonder if I'll smash if I shoot it. Zero to ten. Worst game. Worst game. <laughs> 